What's going on y'all? What's going on? What's going on? Listen, I'm back with yet another video and today we are going to be talking about maca once again, okay? Maca and how it can affect males. Now I've talked about this briefly before but not Y'all are, I don't know if y'all are going to be ready for what it is that I'm about to say. And I went back and forth, you know, like, hmm, should I talk about it? But yeah, the streets are talking and I have to let you know what the streets are saying. In fact, this is a good friend of mine and he was like, he's purchased, this is his second bottle from me. And because he's saying that this could happen, I just want to let y'all know what could possibly happen. I right? Now... One girl had just commented yesterday, shout out to her for watching the video and giving her feedback. Um, she commented and said that Maka made her very, very, very tired. That is not how it affected me. Now, she said that that was in the first couple weeks of her taking it, so perhaps her body had to adjust. I don't know. But she said her energy bursts were off and on. Okay? Now, my friend he has energy anyway like he's always up here just positive vibes always cheesing always always smiling and um so he was like to be honest with you i don't know that it is has that it has affected my energy like that because as you know like i always have energy like he works out does the intermittent fasting an outgoing guy right so i was like yeah you know you always have energy so yeah he said but unique <laughs> I have noticed that there is a change with the anatomy. Yes, that's what I said. Now, now let me say that I have had males comment in my videos before saying that that was an effect, that they did experience that. I've seen the convos, men were going back and forth like, yo bro, which, which one you taking? But here's, here's the thing, and this is not meant to offend anyone, so for those males who might even be watching this video, you know, with the internet, <clears throat> it's a slippery slope. And yes, you open yourself up to certain things, certain topics of discussion, what have you, but sometimes what you entertain will literally open up a can of worms. And so I can kind of tell, you know, <sighs> How do I say this? People will have slid in the DMs before talking about some, oh, enlighten me on the maca. I don't have to enlighten you. You can watch my videos. Like, I don't mean to say it like that, but I know what dudes are up to. You understand what it is that I'm saying? So if a male is in the comment section talking about how that has affected him, I may not comment unless he's like, oh my goodness, my wife said, do 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 Then I already know what time it is. I know it's not just, you know what I'm saying, like somebody playing games, here to just do whatever, it's comment, trolls. I know that this person is being serious. But this coming from my friend though, face to face, like unique. He didn't even know how to say it. He was like, I'm gonna be real with you. Like I've noticed that there's, you know, a difference and I know for a fact this is nobody that's trying to get at me come at me what have you it's not even like that that is my home boy let's just be very clear and then my other homeboy who's been taking maca he started maca taking it as for a test boost before you go to the gym you know what I mean that test boost that testosterone boost just that energy and he was like yeah I've noticed that as well listen both of them are happy about the results that they've experienced. So I just want to put that out there. Not only is it working for females, it, watch the videos before somebody says this, whatever. Watch videos on maca. Too many women have said, yo, this is what I have experienced. And I think it's because it gets the body ready for fertility. It's no wonder that it's targeting the areas that are specifically for that. If you know what I mean, blood rushing to certain areas, body filling out and whatnot, it's, it's messing with hormones. It is affecting hormones rather. And so it makes sense that it would actually, you know, 
affect someone in that way is what I'm trying to say. So yes, he noticed an increase. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to come and tell y'all that uh, it's crazy out here. Maka is changing lives. Maka is changing lives for the better so far. Now I have seen comments again, not from my brand, but just people that said they had to get off of it because of whatever, you know, mood swings. Um, that's really all I've seen. Or some people said that, yes, it didn't affect them to where they've been really hungry or anything like that. You know, it affects people differently. I, I can honestly say that it does open up my appetite. I've had people that buy my products say, you know what, Unique? It's giving me more energy and it has opened up my appetite. And then this young man who's noticed the increase. So we out here. Just wanted to let y'all know that. Um, yeah. Oh, see, Zia? I don't know if it looks darker today, but um, I took the time, as y'all can see, well, probably see. I don't always take the time to do my makeup. I'm no professional makeup artist. So sometimes you see me on here looking straight crazy. Or I'll be out and about working and whatnot, get home and be tired as a mug and just quickly do a video before, you know, showering and going to bed and whatnot. So sometimes y'all see me not really put together. But today I said, you know what, let me take some time with the makeup and whatnot. And with the lip liner and the lipstick and Sozia, I don't know. Is this, in fact, darker today? Because it still looks like the chocolate brown that it did yesterday to me. And no, I don't have anything on. I put shea butter on my lips and then I put on this lipstick. All right. Um, if you want to know, some of y'all probably know what, what this lipstick is. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone because I don't normally wear dark lipsticks. If you notice from the last couple of videos I've done, I've been trying to kind of step out of my comfort zone. My everyday is um, like a coral or a nudish pink or a nude. That's it. Like I, I'm very, you know, quote unquote plain Jane when it comes to that as far as an everyday look and just I don't know I always felt like darker colors on me specifically because they look great on people but I always felt like would it look me make me look like a crackhead like I smoke too much that's not the look that I'm personally going for listen um but I really like this chocolate brown color it is it goes on so smoothly I love it and so yeah, I'm rambling at this point, but thank y'all for tuning in. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more. Enjoy your week and I'll holla. <laughs>